Hello Slicers and welcome to this, the results of the January challenge. I'm Greg, I'm going to be your host for this evening. And who's this to my left, making her on in front of camera debut? <gasps> it's Little Senpai Bex! Hi, hi. Yeah, so, you going to have some banter? Certainly are. Um, so, I went and got a glass. Right. And, you know, for a drink. And then brought up a drink that was in a carton. Sound. So, uh, what are we going to be doing today then? Alright, uh, so uh, over the month we have asked you to submit 20 second videos of your most impressive geeky item. And we got a massive response. Um, everyone's been responding. My, the emails are going a bit mad actually. Really? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to look at all four entries that we got. Alright, okay, so I'm um, going to do these in alphabetical order. So we're going to start with the first in the alphabet, uh, which is Adam. So let's have a look at what horrors are lie in this video. Hello Slicers, it is me, Adam Myers, and this is my 20 second video. Uh, my geeky thing that I have is basically this little collection that I have here, but mostly all these pop vinyls that you see here, from Crash Bandicoot to WWE. There we go. Well, that was a very interesting uh, pop vinyls. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it said a thing, so a collection is a thing technically. Yeah. Uh, so that was quite a good. Yeah, collection is tech. You can class one collection as a a singular thing. A singular thing. Um, one thing you didn't provide though was the actual quantity. You just said these. We have to go back through the video and actually count them now just to see how many well, qualifies a, as impressive. If I do a quick. Rewind. Scout upstairs. No, uh, yeah, I could, I could run upstairs. Oh, that is a blurred image, but um, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can see at least 16 in that one shot. The side of a 17th. Yeah, and that's only 16, half the shelf. 17, yeah, it's only half the shelf, yeah. I mean, so, that's, that's more than what I've got. It's more than what I've got as well. Also, m most of those are out of boxes as well, so it takes up less space than mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've only got two in a box, but mm. I've, got, I've got loads. So uh, I, I, I need to get people to stop sending me those. But yeah, okay. So we've the, got Adam's pop figures. It's quite impressive, really. Um, mm. Who's uh, next on our hit list? Uh, the next victim is Darren, I believe. Uh, Darren is the next in the alphabet. Yeah, he's also conveniently next to my folder. Yeah. So we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll play him. Why not? Uh, let's click that. Hello, I'm Darren, just a random guy, but you probably know me as the man behind the Dazza84 gaming blog, where I talk sometimes about football, but mostly about video games. So it's no surprise that my choice of my most favourite geeky item that I own is video game related. And it's a rare one at that. Look at that. That is an Atari Lynx in the box. It's a failed handheld from the early 1990s, which actually sold well in the UK actually, it only sold 3 million worldwide, compared to Game Boy about 77 million, but I did tell a lie, it's not actually in the box, it's actually right here. See, look at the size of this thing, but it was twice as powerful as the Game Boy, it was backlit, and the screen was in colour too. The only downside is it took 6 AA batteries, and it lasted about what, 3 or 4 hours? And the other thing about this, it came with a game packaged in. Batman Returns. A crap movie. A crap movie made into a crap video game. Which is what this is. I'll show you right now. Switch on. There it is. Yeah, it still works. You've got all the sound of mono, of mono sound like that. I'll see if I can play this wet one handed. I can't, play, I can't play it one handed, damn it. Damn it I can't play it one handed, but you get the picture. You get the picture, yeah. It's, it's very difficult to play this one handed actually, so I'll stop it there. But that is the most creepy. My favourite geeky item, the Atari Lynx. Well, I'll 
I've never seen one of them before, personally. No, but like, I, I've, I've not either. It is it does look better than the Game Boy. Graphics look better than the Game Boy. It's in colour. It's backlit, like you said. Still works. Um, yes, sl- all the original we, packaging and stuff. Should we address the slight, the slight problem of the overrunning of time? So we said, 20 second video, this is two minutes. Um, <laughs> I don't know what, what you think is going on. <laughs> well, I, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything, but... Um... Yeah, so... Um, we could segment it into six 20 second videos. <laughs> yeah, he's a part of a series. Um, but no, sh- um, should we disqualify Darren on the basis that this is too long? Uh... Des- despite how good his um, Atari Lynx is, uh, it, I, I can say it is like an, imp- an impressive, geeky item. It, it is very impressive. However, I think for the sake of rules, we would have to, just yeah. because it, it it was supposed to be twenty seconds. Yeah, okay. and I hate doing yeah. it. I, I don't feel good about doing it, but <laughs> no, it, it, um, it, twenty seconds is twenty seconds. Yeah, so apologies, Darren. We're going to have to disqualify you for I think a slight misunderstanding of the um, of of the timing rules. But um, next 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 month we will uh, have a better clarification of what we are um, we're doing. It, it, Iron, helping iron out wrinkles. So, yeah. unfortunately, while we do do think that your geeky item was impressive, was good, and uh, your demonstration of it was funny, <laughs> <laughs> just watching Batman uh, getting beat up is always funny. And we had a little bit of a dance to the song. Let's, let's admit, you know, that, yeah. that was a pretty catchy little opening. Yeah. But for the sake of the criteria of the task, unfortunately, we we have to disqualify mm. the video. Yep. Sorry, Darren. Um. So you still get points, though. So yeah. It, it's participation not... points, but no real points. Um, unfortunately. So our next competitor is Jordan, our resident editor. So mm. let's let's see what he's got to come up with. Hello there, Magnetic Pie community. My name is Jordan, and I edit the videos. And as you can see, I'm quite a big anime nerd. This is one of my most prized possessions. It is a Ruby Rose figure signed by the voice actor herself. I love this figure to absolute bits. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we figured out that he's the editor without me having to say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Quite well put together. Um, with regards to the item in question, yeah, uh, I was there when he got it signed. Jeez. Um, um, <laughs> so uh, well, yeah. we were at the same event together. So yeah. I can var- I can clarify that Lindsay Jones did sign that statue, um, and it's a pretty awesome figure. Hmm. Pretty good, um, and. I think so far romping into the lead for the bonus point of <laughs> best presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think uh, just a little nugget of information as well. When he was going to send me this originally, it was thirty seconds, and then asked the question, "Can I edit it down?" I said, <laughs> "No, no rule saying that you can't." But the, only ru- the only rule was somebody who seconds. knows what this game is about. <laughs> <laughs> so. Bear that in mind for future uh, future video challenges. You can clip and yeah, edit it, as, as, as you please. <laughs> yeah, un- un- unless it's stated in the rules. Just follow yeah. the rules as best you can. If it's not written, it's not a rule, so go wild. Interpret tasks as you wish. Yeah, imagination and creativity is basically the driving force behind that, vi- that video. So. Uh, but yeah, like as I say, it is an impressive item. Um, I mean, oh. I, I, I personally don't have that figure. I, have, I mean, you can see... From where we're sitting, I have Ruby figures. I don't have one that cool. So, mm. um, yeah, so I, I genuinely like that. Okay, so uh, we still have one left. Uh, that is uh, our resident cameraman, Mr. Sam Tuff. Hello, my name is Sam Tuff. I'm an avid video gamer and the silly cameraman from the Cooper v. Myers series. And my geekiest possession is... This lovely Star Fox Zero certificate from a Nintendo UK competition signed by Shigeru Miyamoto himself, which makes me a Star Fox Ace pilot. It's on my CV and everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I just comment on what I can see immediately now, which is successful applications to NASA. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is beautifully done. I was wondering why yeah. the thumbnail had him in a shirt and all well dressed, and now I understand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, again, that, uh, that was another really well presented item. Um, again, some, somebody who's used his imagination <laughs> and, um, and d done a bit of editing as well. So. Um, you know, we have that as well. So, I, I, again, I, I, that's a solid competitor. Uh, also, probably, if we're, if we're rewarding the bonus point for uh, extras, then the fact that he's included his own little CV there, yeah. his little oh, CV, oh, that oh, I absolutely love, how his blood type is yeah, raspberry yop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> blood type raspberry yop, I didn't know. <laughs> It's having like occupations, gamer, Pokemon trainer, Tetris addict, thwarter of space invaders and Andross's army, and, and Doge petter, obviously. Um, a thwarter thwart of space invaders, for those of you who may be watching who aren't particularly aware, um, Sam has spent a lot of time in the Whitley Bay Arcade um, playing the Space Invaders arcade game. He has been afraid on more than one occasion and he might be banned because he's so good at it. <laughs> Drains the machine of tickets rather quickly and has accumulated enough tickets previously to um, exchange for a Nintendo Switch console, which he essentially paid about, from what he says, about £70 75 pound for it um, when the retail price for Switch is 300 Yeah, that that's pretty impressive. I mean, I, I most I've ever saved up in tickets is about 700 and that's only got me a watch. Mm. I think, so. yeah, I think <laughs> the only reason he didn't include that is because he sold it on, but. Um, you know, that, um, it's still it's an impressive still, it, feat. It is. It, 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 it is getting a certificate. What? Well, just fast forward again. I was to say, the, it was signed. The actual certificate signed by Shigeru Miyamoto. But, hang on, let me just move his hand out so I can see that. There we go. High score achieved three thousand four hundred eleven. Now I've not played this, so I don't know how good that is. But apparently, it's good enough for. Well, I, I'm guessing the only issue the only issue a certain number of certificates as well. I would imagine so. so yeah. The fact that he has one is. An achievement in itself. Hmm. This might require a bit of research. Um, I'm not again. I'm not entirely sure how, how good that score is either. Just from this, uh, just from this video, I we'll have to look into it a little bit more. I think. Well, but I'm genuinely impressed. Yeah. Because um, if honestly, if that was my score, if you just put a point behind the three, that would be my <laughs> score. So in front of or behind? Uh, oh, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be more like. 0 0.003 I would go in the negative somehow, you know. <laughs> it'd, it'd, it'd be in standard form, that's how many, <laughs> <laughs> how many zeros. Uh, so yeah, I that that is what we would call impressive and geeky. Mm. So this is going to be a tough call. Yeah, so I, I, th I think it is. Well, I, th I think um, well, Dar Darren has been um, disqualified, unfortunately, so um, he's going into fourth place. So, um, we have Darren in fourth place with one point. Um, I think number three has to be Adam, I think. Well, considering um, yes. Sam and Jordan kind of both got a, a rise out of like, a laughter from us and that sort of reaction. But that's down, down to pre uh, presentation. Yeah, I, I so think, their, right. their presentation was quite well and their, their items are impressive to a, a level. Yeah. I mean, you can't get more impressive than signed items. Yeah, so that's Adam uh, comes straight into third, comes into third place. Um, and now, then that was just a, a, t a toss up between Sam and Jordan. It is, yeah. Mm. So, so um, which one <laughs> is most impressive? Again, um, I think Jordan has the more unique item, I think. I think there's going to be less of those statues that have been signed by the voice actors kicking about. So I think that's a, a, a sort of rarer, more unique item um, than this certificate, which would have been given out to a number of, a set number of people, but it's going to be considerably more than figurines with signatures on them. However, Sam's is a, a testament of skill. So yeah. there's that kind of impressive side to it. So it's a case of yeah. what's more impressive, the uniqueness or the skill behind it. Yeah, let's just have a look. Yeah, let's just have this a look. might require um, a little bit of research. Yeah, so let's just have a look at how many of these certificates were given out. Oh, okay. So um, it's on, on Nintendo's website. So it says the list of UK Star Fox Zero Ace pilots is growing by the day, etc. While everyone that beats the 
total personal best of 3,000 hits across all stages will receive a personalised foil embossed certificate. The first 25 that prove their ability will have their certificate signed by Shigeru Miyamoto. So, so he, not only did he beat the time, but he was in the top 25. He was in the first 25, not the top 25 oh, the necessarily, 25. the first 25. Um, so only 24 other certificates like that um, exist, according to my extensive research of one Google search. <laughs> um, so that is one of 25, um, whereas Jordan's is going to be one of maybe one. Well, I, but we from don't... being there, I didn't, I didn't. But I arrived relatively late to the signing, so mm. I didn't see any other figurines. Yeah, so that, and that was a you kind of had to be there. Yeah. I mean, it was all booked sign-in, so there's a set number of places if you weren't there. You weren't at that sign-in, you, you weren't getting that signature. Yeah. So, um, this, is a, this is a tough one. Just, um, I think it's, 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 it's tough to separate them, really. It is quite accounts. tough to yeah. separate them. Um, so, you see, Sam's is a skill-based... Uh, so skill-based only got in quick. Um, yes. So, um, whereas Jordan's is... He was... Jordan's is just more unique, I think. Um, but it's, it's it's tricky. It it is quite tricky. Um, as, as much as like the more I think about it, the more I'm inclined to put Sam first on the skill aspect. Right. Because they are both unique. Yeah. But the skill. And the speed that he's managed to achieve that. Mm -hmm. If he's in the first 25, he'll have had to do that very fast. Yeah. Because that's worldwide. Yeah. Oh, it's first 25 in the UK. No, oh, it's well, all worldwide. It's, it's, it's countrywide. But it's still... Still, that's a lot, that's a lot of people in yeah. the UK. Yeah, it's 25 out of... I don't know how many people bought or played the game. Um, but I'd imagine it'd be in the hundreds of thousands... It'd be in the tens to hundreds of thousand range. So, but you know, um, still, I, uh, it's like... It's, Pretty, pretty good. So yeah, I, th I think we'll uh, make we make a uh, judgment based on that. Then so Sam goes into first with Jordan in second. I mean, I I love both items, but thinking and about it from a more distinctive point of view, in terms of being impressive, yeah, it, it's there's just that skill element that that Sam's has that yeah. unfortunately Jordan's does not. Okay, so we've got um, final standing. Sam is the winner. Mm -hmm. um, with Jordan in second, Adam in third, and Darren in last. Um, so Sam gets four points, Jordan three, Adam two, and Darren one. Um, also awarding one point based on the best presentation, which I think goes to Jordan. Yes. Because uh, we got, got the most laughs. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it, was, it was well presented. So uh, do your homework, kids. If you have to, da just download that video, just watch it over and over and over again, and just, yeah. Absorb it like a sponge. Or, 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 just, or just plagiarise it, whichever, I don't think we care. <laughs> um. uh, Jordan might. If I was talking about us, like, oh. just, just us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so Sam wins a... You, you gift, uh, a, a gift card of indeterminate value for <laughs> for the console of his choosing, be it Nintendo or or be I think choice were Blizzard app, Nintendo eShop, PlayStation Network, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Steam, and that's about it. I think uh, the main sort of gaming platforms that you can spend electronic money on, basically Waterstones, Book Token, um, whichever. <laughs> so your 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 choice, Sam. So I uh, just give. Myself or Beck's a message and we'll sort something out for you. Um, so, I think, I think that's it. So next month, what are we doing for next month, Bex? Right, so uh, next month, uh, uh, in the month of February, we have Chinese New Year. And we've decided to theme our task around that. For those who don't know, uh, it is the year of the dog. So, we are going to ask you to find the best, like, find a dog the best represents a member of the Magnetic Pie community. Yeah, so this uh, could be a dog which looks similar to a member of the Magnetic Pie community, or it could be doing something um, which sort of resembles something that one of us is known for, like a quirk or a habit, or just ge general, you know, sort of energy bounciness, I don't know. Exactly. Um, 
So, um, we've got an example for you. We do, uh, yes. yes. I think you, you, you asked me to look up a dog that looked like Sam. <laughs> yes, and here is that dog. It does sort of remind me of Sam a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so like this, this is the... An, an example this dog looks like Sam the winner of this challenge we, we chose before we looked at this by the way yeah so we did. Uh, don't go thinking that this was a post production thing uh, like, oh he's, he's one we'll go look for the one that was most like him no, that, that does look like Sam so uh, that's sort of what we're looking for um, and yeah basically. just you need to tell us who it is yeah. um, I mean sometimes we can guess but <laughs> yeah just <laughs> Remind us if we're unable to guess, just tell us. Um, and yeah, and again, send it by email to the magnetic pie community at gmail.com email address. Um, you have a bit longer this time, uh, you are because we're doing this at the start of the month rather than in the middle of the month. So, we've got, got three weeks or so. Um, you can either find a picture of a dog online or you can actually go out and actively find a dog in the wild and chase it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although Chase don't, it, give, give it, give it, give it pets, you know, just, like, and then go ah, snap. Just don't stalk people's dogs, okay? That's just <laughs> that's gonna be weird, okay? If you want to remember, sometimes you have to ask. So if you want to take a picture of someone's dog, ask first. Mm. Uh, you know, basic manners. Yeah. Other than that, the internet, go for it. Um, mm. I, I know some of you were scared of dogs, so. Um, <laughs> No one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> so we're leaving that open and you can send, again, to the email if, for whatever reason, you have trouble with the email, send it to us directly. Yeah, uh, it's just a picture. Picture and a name. Yeah, um, picture and a name. And the most points are going to go to the goodest boy. <laughs> the goodest boy. Yeah, so we go with, um, most points go to the person who sends us a um, a dog name combo that we think looks or most resembles its human companion or counterpart I should say. Uh, can I have any bonus points? Ooh, I'm not sure. Um, I think bonus points are the funniest. Yeah I was just thinking that actually. Okay right, good choice. Uh, bonus, <laughs> a bonus point for whoever's is funniest. So Easy criteria to make us laugh. Barry's about to die, so we better wrap this up quick. Yeah. Any, <laughs> any, any last words? Um. That was it. Right, so you're using sur surrogate backs. It's about about right. Just so we get camera angles right. That's that's what that's a backs. And so that will look. And. No backs, don't go to sleep.